Did you make a New Year's resolution to be healthier and exercise more? Why not include your pet in your resolution? According to the American Veterinary Medical Association, 53% of cats and 55% of dogs are overweight or obese. Overweight pets, just like overweight people, are at risk for many serious conditions, such as heart disease, joint problems, high blood pressure, and diabetes. And not only is that extra weight hurting your pet's health, it's hurting your pocketbook, too. Nationwide, pet owners are spending millions to treat these preventable problems. Proper nutrition and exercise are critical. Talk to us about how you can get your pet to a healthy weight and how to maintain it. Many people are aware of the risks of salmonella when handling raw meat and eggs, but did you know that there can be a risk from your pet's food too? Fortunately, the risk is low if you pay attention to proper hygiene and sanitation. When buying pet food, look for undamaged packaging that is free of rips, dents, or discoloration. Wash your hands with soap and water after handling pet food and treats. Don't use the same utensils or dishes for preparing your pet's food and your family's food. And regularly wash pet food bowls, dishes, and utensils with soap and hot water. Store your pet's food and treats in a separate location from your family's food. Promptly refrigerate or discard leftover wet pet food. Finally, remember to keep your pets away from garbage, food storage, and preparation areas. Internet pharmacies are becoming increasingly popular, but you should be careful when purchasing your pet's medications online. A legal online pharmacy will always be licensed by our state. You can find out if the online pharmacy you're considering is licensed by checking our state's website. It's important for you to verify their license because illegal online pharmacies have been known to sell medicines that are counterfeit, outdated, mislabeled, incorrectly formulated, or improperly made or stored. But sometimes the Internet isn't the best answer. As your pet's doctor, we want the best for both you and your pet. We know your pet's medical history and which medications are appropriate for your pet. We'll also make sure you understand how to give your pet the medication, and we're here to help if you have any questions or problems. So do your homework and make sure the decision you make will result in a happy, healthy pet. Is your pet microchipped? A microchip is a small electronic chip about the size of a grain of rice. It's injected under the skin using a hypodermic needle with no anesthesia or surgery needed. A microchip provides permanent identification for your pet and significantly increases the chance that your pet will be returned to you if lost. Thanks to microchips, dogs and cats have been reunited with their owners, even though they've been lost for years and are thousands of miles away. Talk to us today about having your pet microchipped. Give yourself some extra peace of mind. Hot and cold weather both present risks for your pet, but by being prepared, you can avoid many of these risks. Hot weather brings the risk of dehydration, heat exhaustion, heat stroke, and sunburn. Cold weather brings the risk of hypothermia, frostbite, and skin damage or illness from exposure to ice melting products. Common sense measures, such as protecting your pet's feet during winter walks and limiting your pet's exercise to cooler times of the day during warm weather, will help keep your pets safe. Ask us about other ways you can protect your pet from weather-related problems. Holidays are here, and it's the time of year that families and friends gather to share goodwill and cheer. We hope that your holidays are happy and safe for you and your pets. During the holidays, be careful with holiday decorations. Ribbons, tinsel, ornaments, and other decorations can be hazards for your pet. 
Enjoy decorating your home for the holidays, but keep in mind that curious noses, mouths, and paws might be thinking those decorations look like toys or food. Protect your pet from intestinal problems and pancreatitis by not giving them table scraps. If your pet is depressed, vomiting, has diarrhea, or seems otherwise ill during the holidays, contact us or an emergency veterinary clinic immediately. We're here to help if you need us. We hope you have a safe and happy holiday. Did you know that antifreeze is dangerous for your pets? Even a small amount can be fatal. One teaspoon of ethylene glycol can be fatal to a 10-pound cat. One to two tablespoons can kill a 10-pound dog. Pets are attracted to the sweet smell and taste of this greenish or sometimes reddish color liquid. If you suspect your pet has ingested antifreeze, contact us, the emergency clinic, or the ASPCA Animal Poison Control Center immediately. Although some medications can be given to both people and pets, there are human medications that can make your pet very sick. Acetaminophen is one example of a drug you should never give to your pet. In fact, don't give your pet any medication unless you are directed to do so by a veterinarian. And remember, all medications should be stored in a secure cabinet above the counter and away from pets and children. Every year, millions of unwanted dogs and cats, including puppies and kittens, are euthanized because there aren't enough homes for all of them. By spaying or neutering your pet, you can do your part to prevent unwanted litters and decrease the number of unwanted dogs and cats. Spaying or neutering your pet reduces or eliminates your pet's risk of certain types of cancer and can reduce unwanted behaviors associated with reproductive instincts. If your pet isn't spayed or neutered, talk to us about the benefits for both you and your pet. Many pet owners prefer to take their pets with them when they travel. Whether you travel by car, plane, or boat, be sure your pet is wearing an ID tag and has been microchipped, that the microchip registration is up to date, and that your pet is up to date on vaccinations, especially rabies. If you'll be crossing state lines or international borders, you need a certificate of veterinary inspection, often called a health certificate. And we'll need to examine your pet in order to legally issue one. So if you plan on traveling with your pet, plan ahead and contact us about the best time to set up your appointment for the certificate. Don't wait until the last minute. deserve a loving home, and senior pets deserve forever homes too. November is the ASPCA's Adopt a Senior Pet Month. Adopted senior pets can and do bond very strongly with their new families and have a lot of love to offer. Remember too that senior pets are usually already housebroken. They also tend to have calmer temperaments, making them great pets for families. If you're considering a pet, Please consider giving a senior pet a well-deserved loving home and a second chance at a healthy, happy life. Be a hero. Adopt a senior pet. Thanksgiving is the time of year we spend with family and friends, including our pets. It's also the time of year when we all have a tendency to overeat but it's critical that you don't let your pets fall victim to overeating. It's pretty widely known that feeding your pet Thanksgiving table scraps can lead to obesity and those annoying begging behaviors, but there are potentially deadly risks too. Fatty, rich table scraps can cause life-threatening pancreatitis and intestinal problems. So enjoy your Thanksgiving festivities, but keep your feast out of the reach of your pets. If your pet does run into problems over the holiday, is depressed, vomiting, has diarrhea, 
or seems otherwise ill, please contact us or an emergency veterinary clinic immediately. We wish everyone a safe, healthy holiday, including your pet. Diabetes mellitus, or diabetes, is a condition that occurs when the body cannot use glucose, a type of sugar, normally. Noticing the early signs of diabetes is the most important step in controlling this disease. Diabetic pets drink and urinate more frequently and in larger amounts. They may lose weight despite a normal or increased appetite, or may have chronic or recurring infections. The earlier the diagnosis, the better the chances for successful management of the disease. If your pet is showing any of these signs, please schedule an examination with us. Diabetic dogs and cats can live long and healthy lives with proper management and veterinary care. Cats and small dogs are generally considered senior at the age of seven. Larger breed dogs tend to have shorter lifespans and are considered senior when they are approximately six years of age. As pets get older, they need extra care and attention. While the slower pace and graying coat of a senior pet is easier to see, it's important to know that your pet's internal organs are changing too. It's normal for pets to lose some of their sight and hearing as they age, and an older pet is more likely to develop diseases associated with aging. Your pet may also slow down their activity level and have changes in their behavior too. Regular veterinary wellness exams can detect problems in older pets before they become advanced or life-threatening and improve the chances of a longer and healthier life for your pet. So schedule your senior pet's wellness exam today. Is your pet microchipped? A microchip is a small electronic chip about the size of a grain of rice. It's injected under the skin using a hypodermic needle with no anesthesia or surgery needed. A microchip provides permanent identification for your pet and significantly increases the chance that your pet will be returned to you if lost. Thanks to microchips, dogs and cats have been reunited with their owners, even though they've been lost for years and are thousands of miles away. Talk to us today about having your pet microchipped. Give yourself some extra peace of mind. Your pet's health is important to you, and we want to help you give your pet the healthiest, happiest, and longest life possible. You know your pet, and you generally know when something's wrong, but there can be very subtle changes that may not be noticeable to you, but which can be detected during a thorough veterinary wellness exam. Catching problems such as diabetes, heart disease, arthritis, and cancer early can reduce costs, improve the chances of successful management and treatment, and give your pet the best chance at a healthy life. Schedule your pet's wellness exam today. October is the American Humane Association's Adopt-A-Dog Month. Each year, millions of wonderful dogs end up in shelters, and many are euthanized because there aren't enough homes for them. Sadly, recent economic events have forced many families to relinquish beloved, well-behaved, well-trained, loving dogs. So before you make a final decision, consider adoption. Adopted dogs make great pets. They're wonderful companions for you and your family, and you would be giving your new dog another chance at a loving, long-term home and doing your part to reducing pet overpopulation. So be a hero and adopt a dog. And don't forget to have us check out your adopted pet as soon as possible, so you know they're healthy from the start. Cancer is responsible for nearly half the deaths of pets over 10 years of age. Signs of cancer include abnormal swellings that persist or continue to grow, sores that don't heal, weight loss, persistent lameness or stiffness, and difficulty eating, breathing, urinating, or passing stool. 
If your pet is showing any of these signs, they should be examined as soon as possible. Although some cancers cannot be cured, early detection and treatment can prolong your pet's life and improve their quality of life. So schedule your pet's wellness exam today. Did you know that antifreeze is dangerous for your pets? Even a small amount can be fatal. One teaspoon of ethylene glycol can be fatal to a 10-pound cat. One to two tablespoons can kill a 10-pound dog. Pets are attracted to the sweet smell and taste of this greenish or sometimes reddish color liquid. If you suspect your pet has ingested antifreeze, contact us, the emergency clinic, or the ASPCA Animal Poison Control Center immediately. Xylitol is used as a sugar substitute in a variety of sugar-free products we use every day, including breath fresheners, candy, chewing gum, baked goods, and even toothpaste. But xylitol is extremely toxic to pets if ingested and can cause serious and even fatal problems, including seizures, hypoglycemia, and liver failure. If you suspect your pet has been poisoned, don't wait. Call us or the ASPCA Poison Control Center immediately. Time is critical when it comes to successfully treating accidental poisoning. Be prepared to provide your pet's breed, age, weight, and any symptoms. Keep the product container or sample with you to assist in identification so the appropriate treatment recommendations can be made. Put this phone number for the ASPCA Animal Poison Control Center in a place you can easily find in an emergency. The number is 888-426-4435. For more information and list of pet poisons, visit aspca.org/apcc. Halloween can be a lot of fun, but it can also be scary and dangerous for your pets. If your pet is fearful of strangers or has a tendency to bolt out the door when it's opened, keep them in another room away from the door when trick-or-treaters come to visit. If you choose to put a Halloween costume on your pet, take some time to allow your pet to get used to the costume and make sure your pet can move, see, breathe, hear, and eat without difficulty. Never leave your pet alone when it's wearing a costume. And remember, Halloween candy is never appropriate for your pet, especially candies containing chocolate or xylitol, a common sugar substitute which can be toxic to your pet. Keep your pets safe at Halloween by keeping the treats out of reach. September is National Disaster Preparedness Month. Are you ready? Disasters can happen to anyone at any time, and they don't have to be overwhelming. Even a small fire or a termite infestation can put you out of your home for weeks or months. Even though these events are usually unexpected, you can plan and prepare for your entire family's safety if and when disaster strikes. And that planning should include your pets. First and foremost, make sure your pet is microchipped and properly identified with a collar tag. Develop an evacuation plan that includes your pet and assemble a pet disaster kit. At a minimum, your kit should include a supply of food, water, medications, and any other items your pet would need over three to five days. Be sure to include any vaccination records, including the type and date, and your pet's medical history. Details about your pet's diet and medication needs, including allergies, will be helpful if you need to leave your pet with another family or at a boarding facility. It's never too late to start planning. If you must evacuate, take your pets with you. You can't plan a disaster, but you can be prepared. For more information about disaster planning, visit the American Veterinary Medical Association's website at avma.org slash disaster.
Rabies is a deadly virus that attacks the nervous system. The virus is usually transmitted to people and animals by a bite from an infected animal. Once the signs of the disease appear, rabies is nearly always fatal. In fact, more than 55,000 people around the world die from rabies every year. That's a rate of one person every 10 minutes. September 28th is World Rabies Day. The purpose of this international observance is to raise awareness of the public health risks associated with rabies and to remind pet owners that it's important to provide your animal with this critical vaccination. Fortunately, rabies is 100% preventable through proper vaccination of your pets and prompt medical care for people who have been bitten. Even indoor cats are at risk of rabies and should be vaccinated. So do your part to prevent rabies. Schedule your pet's rabies vaccination with us today. According to the American Veterinary Medical Association, 53% of cats and 55% of dogs are overweight or obese. Overweight pets, just like overweight people, are at risk for many serious conditions such as heart disease, joint problems, high blood pressure, and diabetes. And not only is that extra weight hurting our pet's health, but it's hurting our pocketbooks too. Nationwide, pet owners are spending millions to treat these preventable problems. Proper nutrition and exercise are critical. Talk to us about how you could get your pet to a healthy weight and how to maintain it. Internet pharmacies are becoming increasingly popular, but you should be careful when purchasing your pet's medications online. A legal online pharmacy will always be licensed by our state. You can find out if the online pharmacy you're considering is licensed by checking our state's website. It's important for you to verify their license because illegal online pharmacies have been known to sell medicines that are counterfeit, outdated, mislabeled, incorrectly formulated, or improperly made or stored. But sometimes the Internet isn't the best answer. As your pet's doctor, we want the best for both you and your pet. We know your pet's medical history and which medications are appropriate for your pet. We'll also make sure you understand how to give your pet the medication, and we're here to help if you have any questions or problems. So do your homework and make sure the decision you make will result in a happy, healthy pet. Pet insurance can help reduce your veterinary expenses by offsetting some or most of the costs of diagnosing, treating, and managing your pet's illness or injury. But pet insurance isn't for everyone, and there's no magic formula that will tell you if it's right for you and your pet. If you're considering pet insurance, first do some research on your options so you can make an educated decision. You might want to visit avma.org slash myveterinarian and click on General Pet Care for some general guidelines. Or talk to us today about your pet's health and how you can choose the right insurance plan for you and your pet. Every year, millions of unwanted dogs and cats, including puppies and kittens, are euthanized because there aren't enough homes for all of them. By spaying or neutering your pet, you can do your part to prevent unwanted litters and decrease the number of unwanted dogs and cats. Spaying or neutering your pet reduces or eliminates your pet's risk of certain types of cancer and can reduce unwanted behaviors associated with reproductive instincts. If your pet isn't spayed or neutered, talk to us about the benefits for both you and your pet. Is your pet having trouble getting up after they've been lying down for a while? Having trouble going up or down stairs? Or maybe your pet is a bit grumpier than it used to be, especially when you touch it in certain areas. Arthritis is one of the most common diseases among overweight and aging pets. It causes painful joints and may result in a limp and having problems getting around, or it may just make your pet seem grumpy. Although there's no cure for arthritis yet, there are many choices for managing the problem and keeping your pet comfortable and mobile. 
If you suspect your pet has arthritis, talk to us about how we can work together to help your pet feel better. The American Veterinary Medical Association recommends that pets be vaccinated to protect them from highly contagious and potentially deadly diseases. If an unvaccinated pet develops one of these diseases, treatment can become very expensive, and many of these diseases can be fatal despite treatment. Skipping regularly scheduled vaccinations can be just as dangerous. But vaccination isn't a one-size-fits-all thing. We base your pet's vaccination program on its risk of exposure to diseases and its lifestyle, including travel and exposure to other animals. Talk to us today about the vaccination program that's right for your pet. The American Veterinary Medical Association recommends that pets be vaccinated to protect them from highly contagious and potentially deadly diseases. Most pets respond well to vaccines. The most common adverse reactions are mild and short-term, including fever, sluggishness, and reduced appetite. Pets may also experience temporary pain or subtle swelling at the site of vaccination. Although most adverse reactions will resolve within a day or two, Contact us if you observe any excessive or continued pain, swelling, or abnormal behavior. Heartworm disease is a serious and potentially fatal condition caused by parasitic worms living in the heart and in the arteries of the lungs of dogs and cats. Heartworms are spread by infected mosquitoes. Fortunately, heartworm disease is entirely preventable. The American Heartworm Society recommends giving heartworm preventives year-round, not just during mosquito season. Talk to us today about testing your pet for heartworm infection and starting your pet on a heartworm preventive. Cats and small dogs are generally considered senior at the age of seven. Larger breed dogs tend to have shorter lifespans and are considered senior when they are approximately six years of age. As pets get older, they need extra care and attention. While the slower pace and graying coat of a senior pet is easier to see, it's important to know that your pet's internal organs are changing too. It's normal for pets to lose some of their sight and hearing as they age, and an older pet is more likely to develop diseases associated with aging. Your pet may also slow down their activity level and have changes in their behavior too. Regular veterinary wellness exams can detect problems in older pets before they become advanced or life-threatening and improve the chances of a longer and healthier life for your pet. So schedule your senior pet's wellness exam today. If we prescribe or dispense medications for your pet, you will play a critical role in making sure that the medicine works. First of all, it's critical that you understand and carefully follow the instructions. If there's something you don't understand or are unsure of, simply ask us to explain it again. Unless we've told you otherwise, it's also very important that you finish the entire course of medication, even if your pet seems completely better. Please don't hesitate to ask us to explain the instructions again or to demonstrate how to give the medication to your pet. We've got tips and information that will help you help your pet get back on the road to health. If you've got questions, we've got answers. Please don't hesitate to call or come in for a visit. Warm weather brings great opportunities for outdoor fun, but it also brings some weather-related risks for your pet. Remember that pets can't sweat like we do, and they overheat more easily in warm weather. General rule, if you're warm, your pet is even warmer. Try to limit your pet's exercise to the cooler times of the day, and make sure your pet always has access to shade and fresh water. Early signs of overheating in pets include heavy panting and increased salivation or drooling. 
Other signs that your pet may be stressing out over the heat include dry gums, weakness, confusion, vomiting, diarrhea, or collapse. Pets can succumb to heat stroke easily and must be treated very quickly to give them the best chance of survival. If your pet is showing signs of heat stroke, contact us or an emergency clinic for immediate treatment. Fleas, ticks, and mites, oh my! External parasites can make our pets' lives miserable. And we don't mean just the itching and scratching. These bugs can transmit serious diseases to our pets and to us too. Fleas can spread plague in certain tapeworms, and ticks can spread Lyme disease, ehrlichiosis, and many other diseases. Talk to us today about your options for preventing external parasites and how to keep your pet bug-free and healthy. Hot vehicles are dangerous. When it's warm outside, the inside temperature of your car or truck can go up 19 degrees in just 10 minutes. And the temperature will continue to rise with time. The inside of your vehicle can quickly reach over 100 degrees even if you roll down the windows. At 110 degrees, your pet is in danger of heat stroke and can suffer brain and organ damage in less than 15 minutes. Please don't leave your pet in the car during warm weather even for just a few minutes. Unless you're bringing your pet to us for a veterinary visit, your pet will be better off if you leave them at home. Although some medications can be given to both people and pets, there are human medications that can make your pet very sick. Acetaminophen is one example of a drug you should never give to your pet. In fact, don't give your pet any medication unless you are directed to do so by a veterinarian. And remember, all medications should be stored in a secure cabinet above the counter and away from pets and children. Roundworms, hookworms, tapeworms, and other internal parasites can cause serious health problems for your pets, including damage to your pet's internal organs. In addition, some of these parasites are a zoonotic risk, meaning that they can be spread from animals to people and cause health problems for you and your family. Keep your pet parasite-free and you'll both be healthier. Have us check your pet's stool sample regularly for parasites and talk to us about parasite treatment and prevention. June is the American Humane Association's Adopt-A-Cat Month. Adopted cats can make great pets. Not only are they wonderful companions for you and your family, but you're giving your new cat another chance at a loving long-term home and doing your part to reduce pet overpopulation. And don't forget to have us check out your adopted pet as soon as possible so you know they're healthy from the start. Hot vehicles are dangerous. When it's warm outside, the inside temperature of your car or truck can go up 19 degrees in just 10 minutes. And the temperature will continue to rise with time. The inside of your vehicle can quickly reach over 100 degrees even if you roll down the windows. At 110 degrees, your pet is in danger of heat stroke and can suffer brain and organ damage in less than 15 minutes. Please don't leave your pet in the car during warm weather, even for just a few minutes. Unless you're bringing your pet to us for a veterinary visit, your pet will be better off if you leave them at home. Warm weather brings great opportunities for outdoor fun, but it also brings some weather-related risks for your pet. Remember that pets can't sweat like we do, and they overheat more easily in warm weather. General rule, if you're warm, your pet is even warmer. Try to limit your pet's exercise to the cooler times of the day, and make sure your pet always has access to shade and fresh water. 
Early signs of overheating in pets include heavy panting and increased salivation or drooling. Other signs that your pet may be stressing out over the heat include dry gums, weakness, confusion, vomiting, diarrhea, or collapse. Pets can succumb to heat stroke easily and must be treated very quickly to give them the best chance of survival. If your pet is showing signs of heat stroke, contact us or an emergency clinic for immediate treatment. Every year, millions of unwanted dogs and cats, including puppies and kittens, are euthanized because there aren't enough homes for all of them. By spaying or neutering your pet, you can do your part to prevent unwanted litters and decrease the number of unwanted dogs and cats. Spaying or neutering your pet reduces or eliminates your pet's risk of certain types of cancer and can reduce unwanted behaviors associated with reproductive instincts. If your pet isn't spayed or neutered, talk to us about the benefits for both you and your pet. Many pet owners